we return, hopefully, in time for our youth intake. I haven't had it yet, but we're going to play a game and then jump forward to it. So, hopefully, me saying best youth intake ever isn't completely misleading. Welcome back. I, I don't, honestly don't know what number this is. I think it's 17. Who knows? I stopped putting the number on the uh, thumbnails a while ago. We've got Cambridge in the league. We're still kind of fumbling about towards the playoff positions, but we're just not strong enough to hit it at the moment. Um, I'll show you what we've been up to. You can see one of our fixtures against the uh, team that are currently winning the league. I didn't get best. It wasn't great. We've played a few other games, done quite well, and we've made two pretty tasty signings in January. So, before I jump into all of that, if you'll do me a favour, like and subscribe, show your support, it'd be greatly appreciated. I'm not going to go into it too much. Um, there's a, quite a bunch of new stuff that uh, is going to be coming out with my lovely little face involved. So, I've got a video with Andrew in which we've done the WWE draft from 2K23, which just recently came out. So that's going to be over on his channel, along with all the other episodes, which you need to go and check out. It's quite a fun thing. It's almost like WWE Manager. Basically, if there's any sort of management simulator, sign me up. Um, we've also brought XCOM back. Kind of a battlefield manager, almost. Who knows? But you, I'm sure you watched the first first kind of iteration of it. But we're back as an Iron Man, which basically means I can't save scum. I didn't really do it anyway, but I don't have that choice. Um, and you'll actually see me in person, like outside with a different... Okay, it's, it's in their house, admittedly. But... I'm going to be on uh, Die Rowling's channel. He's found a board game of uh, football management. So he's invited me over. And we've gone and filmed that a few, about a week back. So I don't know when he's going to get them out. But when he does, I'll throw it up on the channel. So there's plenty of stuff to, uh, to keep you entertained with this ugly mug. But we've been through a bunch of games since you were last with us in the Leicester game. Which was a 4-0 loss. Um, as I say, quite a quite a bit of stuff that we've covered through in that time. We've played a bunch of league games, which looked promising until we got to uh, February, and then it kind of fell apart a bit. It's fine, don't worry about it. Uh, we followed that up with a one-one draw at County, a three-nil win against Huddersfield, who were one of the stronger teams in the division away from home as well. Two-one win against Morecambe, two-nil win away from home against Port Vale, which was pretty strong. This is when I was thinking, this is it. We're going to get promoted. I said that we weren't going to come back that much because we've got no chance. And then now look at us. Then it all fell apart. 2-0 loss against uh, Lincoln, who even lost a man. In injury time, admittedly, but still, they lost a man. Three draws against Cholton, Bolton and Oxford. Um, neither of which were particularly convincing. We did all right in all of them, but just not good enough, evidently. Uh, we then had a 3-1 loss against Barnsley, who was like the 15th time we've played them this year. Back-to-back -back wins against Burton and then Wickham. Two of the weaker sides in the league. To be fair, Burton are actually challenging for playoffs. And then, as we said, the most recent game we've played is against Shrew Shrewsbury. It's definitely not. Um, Swansea. 4-0. Uh, just, just slaps us. They just did. So there's not much for me to come back on that. We have Cambridge tomorrow in game. I've came back a little bit early. But our development centre, this is what we're here for. I mean, there's, there's good players. That, why is Rosiak in there? I did not know he dropped down there. I've been playing him otherwise. Look at the state of this intake. Possible intake. It should be coming through in the next week or so. So we'll play Cambridge and we'll jump forward to it whenever it is that that comes through. And we'll have this as a direct comparison as to what actually comes through. I, I doubt it's going to be this strong, but I hope it will be. And finishing up with our, uh, our little transfer business, which is what I was, I was talking of. We've let Mickey Van Sass, our best goalkeeper, go out on loan. He's worth four and a half to seven million. He's currently playing for Telstar in the Dutch second tier. He's played six, conceded seven. Not doing too bad. He's got a rating of just shy of seven. And um, with ourselves, it was pretty much the same, conceding just less than a goal a game. So he's carrying on what he's doing with us. Uh, we did that because we bought in Sebastian Breza. Uh, he's an Italian national playing for the Canadian national team, who we signed from Pro Patria. But he's pretty decent, six foot five. He's an improvement on the goalkeeper that we had. He's lost half a star since he joined us, which is uh, concerning. And we also brought in Raul Koenig from, uh, from Dortmund. He's only on loan. 
His wages are quite a bit for us, if we're honest. We're playing about 3k, but I think he's worth it because he's uh, he's quite versatile. We can play across that whole front three, drop back to midfield if needs be, even play up top if we need him. Uh, however, he has twisted his ankle in the most recent game, which wasn't preferable. Oi. So, there are new, our new boys. We've brought in, we've invested from the continent. Oi. and What happened to the Home Nations rule? What was that? What happened to the Home Nations rule? We've invested from the continent to, uh, to strengthen our squad. Magnus Fries has also came in for us. Another goalkeeper. We know I love a goalkeeper. Uh, but he's gone straight back out on loan to his old cub, Skive. Skive. I think I may have covered him before. But he's a very good player. So we'll jump in to the Cambridge game now and see what lineup we're going to be playing. And we're going in with the full 2 3 1 we discussed in the previous episode. We've got Breza in goal, House and Scar, Annesley and Davies as the back four. Bowden and White supporting Owain Hughes. And before you ask, no, I don't. I don't understand what that joke is from Gavin and Stacey. I'm not sure it is an actual reference, but fine, we move. Uh, Elliot Lee and Broadhead completing the uh, that next line, whatever they're called. Uh, and Ellis Sims up top. I have put Rosiak on the bench as we were talking about him because I was like, oh, I don't know why, don't know why he's down there. He's a pretty decent player. I remember why he's down there now. He's agreed to join another club and I was sulking. So, uh, so I just dropped him. Just did. Which is fair. We, um, we're looking to pick up a win against Cambridge. Up in sixth place they are at the moment. Um, providing nobody else picks up points between us and them. We could very well take ourselves back up into third. Well, not third. Into the uh, playoff spots. I think it was about fifth. I have changed um, my kind of camera to this. Because I like seeing more of the pitch. But I uh, appreciate you may not be able to see a fat lot. So if it is just not visible in the uh, in the video please do let me know and I'll, I'll change the camera back down but Hughes has the ball out on the right sees Halson overlapping gets it back into the middle in Sims I mean I'll take it their defense were completely asleep but I'll take it Hughes is one of our youngsters we've got quite a, a plethora of young talent at this team Matty Funnel is on the bench I believe no I think he's recently played for the under 21 so he's quite tired Either that or my uh, assistant just didn't fancy popping him on the bench, which is good of him. Five minutes, 22 on, one nil to the good. Pretty, pretty tasty. Stats are looking quite good for us as well. We'll uh, tell the boys they're doing quite good. And we'll just sit back and watch. We'll just, just sit back. Let them do what they do until Cambridge score. And then I can start panicking again. Hughes is having a brilliant game, as is Sims, which is quite helpful. They're just swapping over, as we know, which is why we just have this kind of mass of players in the middle of the pitch. White with a free kick towards the back post, and Scar nods it just wide. Four minutes left of the half now. Uh, at the moment, it has us up in sixth, but we've also got, as I say, a few of the guys that are still only halfway through their own games as well. So Lincoln are, are yet to take the lead, as of Leighton Orient, but they have recently picked up a red card, so... That's obviously not the best for them. Uh, well done controlling possession. Send them back out with little smiles on their faces. It's what we want to see. And we'll just, we'll just carry on as we are. We're doing pretty good. Swansea are winning their game, which is to be expected, to be fair. Uh, look at Hughes winning the ball back. A little terrier he is. Bowden knocks it up towards Broadhead. Brings it down. Broadhead, actually. It is the same Broadhead who's recently just scored for actual Wales in real life. I saw it come through and I thought, hmm... <laughs> I don't know if that is a kind of good on our Wrexham team that we've got a player that's a Welsh international or what is more likely kind of a uh, reflection on how poor actual Wales are. That's um, a relatively young player for me in League One. He's playing for Wales currently in real life. Um, not the best for him, but not my problem. I'm not Welsh. Don't need to worry about it. Right back is in acres of space. I'm pretty sure Sims is offside. We'll find out shortly if the Lino pops his flag up. He's run off. He does look to be that he's... Yeah, he's not standing. He had strayed just behind. We'll have the lines now. Ooh, do you know what? It's not actually as far as I thought it was. But it shows shows promise. I'm a little bit annoyed that we're not looking for the overlaps. I know I can expressly ask them to do so. But I expect at that point... The, uh, the defenders are going to kind of wise up to the fact that we're passing out there and they won't have so much space. I might be wrong. Could be something to uh, look at making use of for us. Davies is heading out on the left side from left back. 
Got a few bodies in the middle. Gets it in towards Hughes. Oh, and his header's just over. I don't think Hughes is even that tall, actually. So I'm surprised he managed to win the header. It's 5'11", to be fair. But he's got six jumping reach. Which isn't... Which is not brilliant, if we're honest. Broadhead is looking pretty tired. But the issue is, of my wingers, I have three of them. And if I take Davies off, I'll then have to play... <laughs> then have to play Sean Morrison. All 34 years of him with his no pace. At uh, left back. So I'm just going to leave him on. We know that we need to be focusing on picking up some wingers. Um, because obviously at the start of this season, which was a while ago, we were still playing that kind of 3-1-4-2, I think we had up top. Which was doing okay, but it wasn't particularly effective. It was good enough to get us where we are, but we were kind of mid to high, high top, top half. Not high half. It's not what they're called. Ibsen Rossi is on the ball for uh, Cambridge. We've got 23 minutes of the game left, roughly. Bowden picks up the uh, ball from Annesley's header. Sims runs onto the ball, smash forward. And he does get us a little bit of a cushion. Bowden with a good assist. 18th of the season from Sims now. We're doing okay. Oxford have just taken the lead, which I don't think affects us. I think they were one of the teams that were ahead of us anyway. But they are one of the massive teams that are in... Okay. It's a complete lie. They are five points behind us. But, as I say, from fifth all the way down to 13th. And probably you can throw in all the way up to third. And, do you know what? From third all the way to 15th, feasibly, any of those teams could end up in the playoffs. So, we're uh, probably only kept in this battle due to the fact that no real teams have kind of grabbed this by the neck. Which is not what it's called. Uh, Halson's looking like he's going to fall apart, but I'm not bringing Rosiak on because, as I discussed earlier, I'm sulking. Uh, we'll bring on Sean Morrison now, all 34 years of him. Definitely not renewing his contract. Wing's going to come on, and Elliot Lee can come off for not Rosiak. Well, no, do you know what? Don't make it. She won't make another sub. Sims is on for his hat-trick, so we'll leave him in. We're doing all right since we've put on the, uh, what is it, Express... Bear with me a second. Just remember what it's called. Be more expressive. That's the badger. So, uh, yeah, we'll just crack on with that. We've got two goals to the good. We are in the little little shaded section for the playoffs. So there is a there is a potential. We might squeeze ourselves into playoffs and have another little episode before this season finishes. Burton and Blues is 5-1. 5-4, sorry. What a game. It's even funnier if Blues lose. Not that I'm saying that. From any point of uh, bias or anything, obviously. As usual, match momentum looking pretty strong. So here we have the intake. And do you know what? It's actually, <laughs> it actually looks pretty strong. A few players that have got between four and five star potential. Another goalkeeper, obviously. A uh, six foot at the age of 15. At that age, I was about five foot two, felt like. I only grew when I left school when it apparently becomes no longer important. But it's, no, it's just fine. We're not talking about me. Ellis Thomas is the uh, is the pick of the bunch. Elite talent he is. So he's a centre back. It's five foot eleven, seven jumping reach this time. I am hoping because he's fifteen he will grow and at least six foot plus and get his jumping reach into the teens. Might be uh, might be asking more of him than we expect. Uh, there's quite a few others though. So we've got Darren Roberts who's a striker. Twenty determination. It's pretty pretty strong. Nine finishing. It's pretty weak. Uh, other ones we have, we've already covered Mr. Robert. Craig Fern, a left back. Not particularly fast. Doesn't quite understand how to cross. Mm, Strongish. Good natural fitness. And a massive jumping reach. Better than the guy that was our centre back. What about if we make him into an actual centre back? Does he become more competent? No, not really. No. He can jump. No guarantee he has actually any control over where the headers go. Uh, and then, let's have a little look. Craig Coleman, not the old Welsh boss. This fella, he's the... Uh, yeah, if we're honest, he's getting in nowhere near the club. So, that's where we are. That came through a little bit speedier than planned. We have four games of the season left. If, at the point when we get to the Reading game... Or potentially Bradford game. We are still in contention for the playoffs. I'll come back there. Otherwise, I'll join you at the start of next season. 
But if you have enjoyed, do me a favour, like, subscribe, as I mentioned earlier, it'll be greatly appreciated. There will be some items on screen so you can carry on watching. Keep a little eye out on the uh, the little videos and, and features that I'm doing on other channels, as I mentioned earlier as well. But thank you very much for your time. 